Yo, what's up, Raven? What's up? Yeah, this is my homie. I don't know if you remember him or not, but, you know, he's responsible for my badass holsters I've been wearing all over the place for the last year or so. And, uh, my I don't man, <laughs> my man. This cat's, this cat's cool, you know? Not only does he make ba really cool artwork that you wear, but he's really into fermented and cultured foods, so... I don't know if you saw the last video that we did, but uh, we're going to do another one today. Today, in the spirit of the Irish, <laughs> but he's Scottish, and people think I'm Irish sometimes, um, we're going to, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day here in the next day or so, but we're going to do a green chutney. Go green or go home! It's going to be Indian, <laughs> it's going to be Indian slash St. Patrick's. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Yeah, so this is going to be fun because this is the blender that I'm using. Yeah. You know how usually, actually, <laughs> I, <laughs> I usually detour people from using these as much as possible because of how easily they will break. And when it comes down to it, you can't really get the desired textures and recipes that you want with the raw food world. But with my new 750 Vitamix, Within the first week, it broke. So I had to literally send it, and like it's on its way back. But so I don't have a blender, and I'm here teaching my homie Raven. So it's like I gotta do it with something. So at least he's got this. So we're gonna actually show you that we can make it work. Now it might be a little bit more of a challenge than usual. So uh, like I said, we're gonna do a green chutney. So let's get started right now. I'm just gonna take this, and this is the blender cup, obviously. I'm gonna start with putting in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I want to get a little liquid in there. Not too much, but a little. The apple cider vinegar will also help it culture. I want to get, we're gonna, he wants it the culture technique. We're gonna do some, a little probiotic. I'm gonna put this natural choice product. It's a proteolytic probiotic. So this is really unique. It's gonna really help it like culture, depending on how fermented that Raven wants it. So you're actually, you can get this at the link below. So look in the content. If you really want the best, one of my favorite, seriously, this I've only found two proteolytic probiotics in the world, and this is my favorite one because it really does make the best cheeses and yogurts, and it's really awesome. It ferments really quick too. So now I'm gonna put just a little bit of almonds. I would put a little bit more, but since we don't have a Vitamix or Blendtec or a two, three horsepower blender, I'm gonna be very careful with this. So now I'm gonna put a little lemon juice. I'm just gonna squeeze it in. So now I'm gonna put some raisins in. Now I've soaked these raisins for about 20 minutes, and so they'll be a lot easier to process in this blender. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little ginger, some grated ginger. I'm gonna put some green onions, which will help it be green, of course. I'm gonna put some fresh garlic, fresh minced garlic. I'm gonna put some, these are poblano peppers here. Are you cool with spice, Jesse? Very much so. Mr. Raven. Okay, so this is gonna be a good, you have a good kick on me. Some cilantro. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of wheat, wheatgrass juice powder. Just a little bit, not too much, but very cool. So, I'm gonna put some salt. I won't even count that because it needs to be in almost every recipe, so. No, but let's count it. Put some salt. Not too much. Cool. Put some water. Might need to add a little more, but we're good. Now for the challenge. <laughs> it's ready. Now, I'm gonna have to use this spatula quite a bit, I'm sure. Let's see here. Start off on low, just like you would any of them. Ooh, doesn't even want to start. So we'll start. Uh, a little higher. I'm either gonna stop it right there already, and I'm gonna use this spatula and I'll mix it around. Now, just to give you all tips at home, because this stuff is because of the almonds, because of the raisins, and all and, and all the vegetables and herbs as well, um, it it definitely can. It's gonna be a challenge to get it going. So it's really good if you stop it right away after you've chopped it up a little bit, mix it up, and then do it a couple times so then it'll keep your blender alive for longer. So let's just start off slow again. 
Almost, you know what? I'm even gonna just pulse it a couple times. I'm gonna do this again, mix it up. Because as you can see, look at this. As you can see, it's, it does, it's not blending really easily. But since we're making chutney, I know that we can make a chunky chutney. And so we can blend it perfectly amount, enough. See, I pulsed it a few times, now I'm doing the same thing again. That way I'm bringing this stuff from the bottom up top, getting the liquid mixed in well, and then that way the next time I pulse it, it can blend up a little bit better. See, now it's like really starting to catch. <laughs> yeah, I know Raven's excited. Actually, so am I. Because if I can help any of you do this easier, that's totally what I am here to do. So hopefully this will work. Add confidence. Okay, that didn't have to happen, but it actually helps. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> Yeah, so, yes, yes, yes. Made a little bit of a mess, but hey. It is blending up really nicely now. As you can see. We're going to do it a few more times. Because we want it to be chunky, but we don't want it to be too chunky. I think... Okay. What? Here, take this. Okay. Bro, this is how you do it around here, like this. You hit it a couple times, soft and sweet. Okay. You take it off, you shake it around. Oh, it's that it's easy? Right <laughs> it's so easy. It's, it's been a long time. You, you know what, bro? See you, baby. <laughs> All right, okay. Get back in well, here. <laughs> so, hey. Yeah. I learned something new every day. Awesome. I think we're good here. Yeah. Amen. Now I just got to taste it make sure it worked. You can't. Wow! Woo! Frock! <laughs> and I, I just want to cuss, it's so good. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna try it one more time. Wow, here you do. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. You're gonna wait? Okay, hit me. What are you talking about? Hit me. Good morning. <laughs> it's no, not too perfect, spicy perfect. though. No, it's not really spicy. Do you want it more spicy? Uh, it could be a little spicy. Yeah, let's do it a little more spicy. I'll throw some cayenne in it. <laughs> That'll help. Take it up a notch. I'll put a little more ginger in it. Give it a little bit more of a flavor profile. Perfect salt, not too much. Perfect sweet. And then, of course, it was now it's already started blending enough so that you can just put it on and it's blending. Which means that your motor is not going to give out as quickly. So yeah. Try it now. Mm -hmm. Well, Release. yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what you want to do is you want to put that at room temperature in a bowl. And you want to let it sit out for like about two or three hours, or until it's like until it's got a good good little bite, little little kick, and then cover it and throw it in the fridge. That's really good. Right oh, on, man. He he totally inspired this too. Thank you. <laughs> Combination of that and St. Patrick's Day. I'm not even Irish. <laughs> yes, he is. Well, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I'm such a mutt. What can I say? Cool, man. So. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and uh, yeah, check out what Raven's doing, realmofraven.com, is that right? Correct. Realmofraven.com, and of course, check out chefbelive.com, and wait a second, I see knuckle tats. What, is your, what do your knuckle tats say, homie? It says, love bird. Love bird. Yes, yeah. Love bird. Okay, cool. And then, and so bird love, by the way? Correct. Bird love this way. Bird love. Nice. And what is the significance? I'm all about the feathers, baby. I'm yes, sir. All about uh, the love. I'm all about the life. <laughs> nice. Yes, yes. And as, as that being said, yo, rock, star out. Yeah.